Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Furlong, and today we're talking about the Myogram. Ah, but before we get into our discussion on the Myogram, a few definitions. First of all, threshold stimulus. So this is the minimal strength needed to start a muscle contraction. Basically what this is saying is that our muscles won't contract unless it receives enough stimulus from a nerve in order to get that contraction started. This way, small amounts of impulses won't just cause our muscles to begin to twitch. There is the all or none response. So what this is saying is that a muscle fiber will either fully contract or it will not. So there's no such thing as a partial contraction. So when we were looking at the sliding filament theory, if that muscle fiber is going to shorten, it's going to shorten completely. So for instance, when our muscles are relaxed, there's very few fibers that are contracted. If let's say I go halfway, I don't have a bunch of muscle fibers halfway contracted. It's that I have some muscle fibers that are fully contracted and other muscle fibers that are not contracted at all. And the last definition is recruitment. What this means is that if there is more stimulus, more motor units are going to be activated, which means more muscle fibers will contract. Kind of makes sense, right? If we're going to be lifting something heavier, we're going to need more stimulus to cause more muscle fibers to contract in order to lift that heavy object. Right, so let's get to the myogram. There are four areas of the myogram for you to identify. The first section is the latent period. So notice that the time on the latent period is very short. This is going to be the time when the nerve impulse goes to the muscle fiber and the calcium will be released, which will cause the active site to be uncovered on the actin, and then the myosin can form the cross bridges. During the contraction period, this is when the myosin is going to be pulling on the actin. Once that calcium is reabsorbed, and the actin slides back into place. We have the relaxation period. And then finally, there does need to be a short period of time in order for the muscle fiber to sort of reset before it contracts again. That is known as the recovery period. So let's take a look at each one of these individually. During the latent period, this is simply the time between the stimulus and the muscle contraction. So once that stimulus reaches the muscle fiber and the calcium is released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum and it causes the active site to be uncovered, uh, the myosin will attach to the actin during this time. Note that this is a very short period of time. All this is happening extremely fast. When the contraction period takes place, this is how long it takes for those muscles to contract. Again, this is not a long period of time. We're measuring this in milliseconds. The myosin is pulling on the actin until the fiber is fully contracted. During the relaxation period, the actin then slides back into place. So the calcium is going to be reabsorbed by the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The active site will be covered up again, and the myosin will detach from the actin. During the recovery period, oxygen is going to be resupplied back to those muscle cells so that it can allow for another muscle contraction. Here is an example of three different types of myograms. You can see that in A, we have a muscle that is contracting and relaxing over and over and over again. And notice how the contraction is the same each time because the recovery period is allowing for oxygen to move back into the muscle cell in order to allow that contraction to happen. But if you look at B, the recovery period is not happening. And so as the more and more of that muscle is being used, eventually it's going to build up that oxygen debt, it's going to have more lactic acid, and muscle fatigue will take place. And then finally in C, we can see recruitment happening where more and more muscle fibers are being stimulated. Uh, and then this person here is holding that muscle. At some point, however, fatigue will take place and that will end up dropping. We just might be making a myogram in a future lab, so I'll see you in class.